lip it with that uh, that notable noticeable style on the right hand side for team dsm here goes the attack now annemiek van vleuten makes her move she knows that she needs to break this race up as they make their way onto Rocha Facon. The group behind don't like, look like they're going to make the junction in time. So Van Vleuten now attacks. On her wheel is Ashley Moorman Passio. Just behind, two wheels back, is Elisa Longa Borghini. Damie Vollering is also there. And just behind, trying to stay in the wheels, one of the riders from DSM. Uh, and we also have Cavalli in this group. This is an elite group of riders. Hannah now making their acceleration. Annemiek van Vleuten and she knows if she wants to try and shake any of these riders off to try and split this group, this is the lowest slopes where she really needs to do that damage on Rocha Foucault. That's put Liana Lippin out of the frame at the moment. The rider just uh, being distant. Yet again, nullify the attack of Annemie Van Vleuten. Well, Grace Brown can't go with her. Van Vleuten has still got 500 metres to go to the summit and she has got the gap that she's been looking for. 12% gradient here and no rider is able to respond or react to the move of Annemiek van Vleuten. Cavalli, she knows she needs to try and commit if she wants to do the triple crown of winning Amstel Gold, Flesh Wallon and Liège Baston Liège. And at the moment, everyone looks so fatigued and laboured on this climb. Annemiek van Vleuten, though, is in full pursuit. She is. She's going to settle herself in. Grace Brown, having made that move, if she can just hold on over the top of this climb, and I say just as if it's uh, an easy feat, but she has around 400 meters now until she crests the top. And if she can stay in those wheels and then be there to help Marta Cavalli and bring Annemiek van Vleuten back, she's going to be a key figure and a key role because she knows that she wouldn't be able to follow these moves had she been in that group from, from the off. So by having that 30 second advantage at the lower slopes of the Rochelle Foucault, it's put her in the frame here to be a vital member of FTG and the Valakutan for Choroscope. Let's see what happens. Let's see what her advantage is at the top of the climb. Demi Vollering, last year's winner, is fighting. Cavalli in the blue, white and red, riding superbly. Elisa Longa Borghini, winner of Paris-Roubaix. Look at Vollering. She knows we need not to let Van Vleuten get more than a few seconds at the top of this climb. 39 years of age, she shakes her head. She's won the age past on the age before. She's now going to make it a double. It's a victory for Movistar. It's a victory for Anami Van Vleuten as she wins the sixth edition of Liège passed on Liège. Things up. She's had a terrific Ardennes so far. Can she top it up with another podium here at Liège passed on Liège? Ashley Mormon Patio, she's wanted to try and take a podium here at Liège passed on Liège. It will be the first time for this former South African champion. She's being challenged here by Grace Brown. Grace Brown taking second. Jamie following there with the third. Do you know, in normal circumstances, I I would be, but I think it's fair to say the spring hasn't gone all her own way, and she's been on the podium at races, she was second at Flesh on Wednesday, we've seen her perhaps go a little bit later when she's attacked, and that's you know, led other riders to be able to follow her, and, and now she really wanted to shake things up earlier on, and really do the damage um, on Lara Dutt, and, and just make it, you know, no rider able to, to go with her at all. Here's a replay of the sprint. Ashley Bullman Passio opened up the sprint very early. Looking for a podium, desperately wanting a world tour podium. Ashley Bullman Passio. But Grace Brown closed so quickly, didn't she? Grace Brown just waiting, waiting, waiting. And uh, Damien Vollering coming round Ashley Bullman Passio go all out. Here's the result of the sixth edition of Liège, Baston Liège. Annemi van Vleuten wins for the Movistar team ahead of Grace Brown. It came in 43 seconds down at the finish. Demi Vollering in third. Ashley Mullen Passio just off the podium in fourth place. Then the Paris-Roubaix winner, Elisa Longo Borghini. The Amstel Gold and Flesh Wallon winner, Marta Cavalli.